uh, in this short video, I'm going to talk about a two-channel data acquisition system uh, being used uh, to measure voltage and current uh, generated by a single uh, solar panel energized by this lamp. Uh, the, the solar panel lamp are originally part of the heliocentris renewable energy system and the reason for going this way is that uh, just recently the USB data monitor that came with the equipment failed. Um, so as a, uh, a short-term solution uh, I've decided to use the USB instruments uh, Stingray USB oscilloscope in data logger mode. And uh, this is the overall setup where we've got the lamp, the USB Crow, the solar panel and a load which is shaped like a little house. We've got two multimeters uh, measuring voltage and current and we've got the computer which is acting as the uh, data, data logger. So just coming a bit closer. Uh, important points about this, so basically we've got the energy supply here, solar panel and load. Now to measure the current I've got a 1 ohm resistor here and the crow probes on the second channel are across this 1 ohm resistor. Now I've only attached one negative reference because on the USB crow these two uh, terminals are actually internally grounded. So to make sure that I don't inadvertently create a current loop through my earth connection I've just got one of the negative terminals attached to the circuit. Now on channel 1 this is the lead for channel 1 and it's on the positive side of the PV cell. Now just focusing on the multimeters uh, we've got 1.87 volts DC and 0 0.170 amps or 170 milliamps being pulled by this essentially resistive load and as you can see a small lamp in there which is glowing very very mildly now to come back to the software, um, I've installed the uh, uh, software uh, which is uh, Easy Logger for DSM, DSM, DS1M12 and starting up that program, this is the viewing window and ba basically just going run I'll just go and close to the run start coming back so you can see there's a blue trace and a red trace and uh, that's just measuring the data now I can stop that anywhere anytime I want and incidentally I've gone to previously I went to edit settings and Uh, sorry, not that one. Uh, edit X scale and I've selected time. So I want it plotted versus time. Now I'm just going to stop that data acquisition and save the data. So I've just pressed save. Now I'm just going to use the same file format, uh, file name as I did in the previous time I've done this. And you notice it's being saved as I've selected common separated value. So there's different options there. I've chosen that one because I want to import this data into an Excel spreadsheet. So save. Uh, I'm not sure what that IO error message was. It didn't happen before. But hopefully it's going to work for me. And if not, I'm just going to have to restart it again. Uh, but the first time I ran this, it did work uh, smoothly. So, going to the Excel uh, program, you can see here I've imported that uh, last sample I did, which was before, prior to making this video. But essentially, I went to the top here, and I went open. And you can see down here, I've got... So normally you, you would have this option and you wouldn't see the file. So I've selected down the bottom 
text file and you can see CSV. So as soon as I select that, you can see the file and open. Now, because that um, uh, program seems to have crashed, that's okay. Uh, normally, this, this should normally work. Uh, basically, you've got sample number, channel A, channel B. Now, uh, in the initial test I did, I didn't actually measure current, uh, but we've got voltage here, and that would read as 2.3 volts. And this, these values here are, are essentially noise. Now, I'll just see if I can do that again, um, just so for the sake of completion. Let's start program. Hopefully, we'll be lucky this time. Run, start. Okay, so it's, it's uh, sampling the data. I'll just do a short run. Stop. File, save. Desktop. Ah, yes. So I'll change that to CSV, and I'll just put test. Test. Save. Okay, so I've been successful this time. Reduce the window. Let's try one more time. Open. Test. Okay, this is great. Now. So you can see here we've got sample number, voltage and current and I think you'll agree that this is comparable to what we were showing on the multimeters. So here we've got 1.842 volts, 169 milliamps. We come back to this data file. We've got uh, 1.831 volts and 163 uh, milliamps. Because remember I've used the 1 ohm resistor. Now, if you want to be really precise, you would have to uh, exactly measure that one home resistance uh, to find out uh, how precise it is. I mean, it's designated according to the colour code, a one home resistor, but you'd have to look at the tolerance uh, to uh, correct any error in measurement that you might get here. But basically, this uh, Stingray uh, USB Crow works quite nicely as a data logger and I think it will more than make up for the loss of the USB data monitor that came with this solar panel and lamp. That's it.